Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 7, Lesson 16, and again we're creating and determining the area of composite figures. Now there's two problems on tonight's homework, and so if I do one of them, then geez, you're done. You know, you're all but done with your homework. So I'm not going to do that completely. What I'm going to do instead is work with you on number two here to sort of sketch how we might draw um, a diagram. As you know from my handwriting, my sketch is pretty sloppy anyway, so I have confidence that I'm not giving you any answers. But I do want to talk through the language of this problem. Um, we're still using a read, draw, and write strategy for this. And I want to read this with you, and then I'm going to do a read. Rather than draw, I'm going to call mine a sketch tonight, because your drawing is going to be much more accurate and more labeled than mine. So let's read together uh, what our problem is. Problem number two, Emanuel Science Project display board is 42 inches long and 48 inches wide. He put a six inch border around the edge inside the board and placed a title in the center of the board that is 22 inches long and six inches wide. Okay, how many square inches of open space does Emanuel have left on his board? Okay, let's see. So we've got a figure I'm just going to think about this out loud, right? We've got a figure that is, well, it's almost square, right? But it's 42 by 48. Let's see. So I'm going to just sketch out, right? It's 48 inches wide, and it's 42 inches tall. Now, you know, it occurs to me that I'm using these, um, these markings for inches, but you may not be familiar with those. So let me go ahead and erase those and just do inches. Okay, and I'm not, that's going to be about all that I'm going to label, because the rest of it I kind of want to just think through. He has a six-inch border around the edge of the, the inside the board. Oh, okay, so it's not a border out here. It's a border in here. Okay, so we've got a border. Awesome. And then he's got a title. He's placed a title in the center of the board, and that's 22 inches long and 6 inches wide. Okay, so he's got some title thing in here. How many square inches of open space does Emmanuel have left on his board? I see. So they're saying, well, now some of it, so they started with the, this amount of, uh, of his display board. They've taken up some of it with the border. They've taken up a chunk with the title. And then the question is really, what is this area, right? And of course, we don't have a formula for the area of a rectangle with a rectangle cut out inside of it. So we're going to have to figure that one out. So... I think this is enough of a sketch to get you going. This is clearly not labeled well enough and probably not drawn well enough for you to get anything out of it. But I hope that it gets you started on how you would sketch out your version of Emmanuel's display board and how would you figure out the, uh, d the area that he's got left on his display board that is not taken up by his border or by his title. Okay? And since those are only two problems tonight, I think that's all I'm going to help you with. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.